Uh, no joke, I almost forgot to record this today. It is like 10.30 at night. Well, 10.32. So I was supposed to record this like three days ago, but uh, clearly it got delayed until today. Now we got, oh, Black Birdo. That, that, that kind of just doesn't look right. It kind of looks, um, what's it, um, it reminds me of Mr. Negative. Okay, so, the past two days, well, uh, well, not today. The two previous days from today, the day I'm playing this. No teams, uh, let's go normal and let's go hard comms this time, because we saw how, you know, normal comms were before. Uh, random, alright, let's do this. Oh, wait, that's right, um, items, normal. Alright, so I think it was three days ago. Yeah, the day I was supposed to record this. Right? No, today's Thursday, so I'm talking. I, I. No, two days ago on Tuesday, because today's Thursday. Uh, so two days ago, I was supposed to record this. I was supposed to have my day off work. Oh, by the way, I know I already said all this on stream, but I'm gonna say it all again, basically in short form. So yeah, uh, two days ago on Tuesday, I was supposed to record this on my day off, but then, uh, you know, I randomly got called in to go to work. You know, I was, uh, I was making myself breakfast at, like, maybe one in the afternoon. You guys know my eating schedule. I was making food, and then I got a call saying, like, uh, we need you to come in because your sister needs to go and take care of grandma-in-law, you know, her husband's grandma she wasn't feeling well so my sister had to go and uh, take care of her her husband would be at work and why why his parents didn't go home I, I don't know but regardless my sister had to go take care of grandma-in-law so I had to fill in for my sister at work she should be doing better now I think I'm not too sure regardless that day we uh, well my sister had to take grandma to the hospital. Nothing too serious, she just wasn't feeling well. She mentioned that the night before she had like thrown up a couple times, she's just not feeling well. So yeah, I had to go into work abruptly that day, so I wasn't able to record this even though I planned to. Oh! If I wasn't gonna hit, get hit from the front, I was gonna get hit from the back. I don't want this. Ah! Oh, I almost got hit by that. Throw this back! Alright, so aside from that, also that day, my dad wasn't feeling well. He said that he was getting... Ugh. He said he had some, like, abdominal pain. So I tried to help him out by trying to get him some sort of doctor's appointment. I called, like, three different clinics and none of them had time that day. Because Canada has free health care, so realistically... Okay, I got fourth. That's fine, we can still bounce back from this. Due to Canada having free real uh, free real estate, I wish. Free health care. You know, it, uh, it gets backed up. People will go in and get anything checked out, no matter how minor, because they don't have to pay for it. So here in Canada, yes, the healthcare may be free, but you're also going to have to wait for like a couple hours before you get checked out. Unless it's a, you know, an actual emergency. Take my sister. She literally had to wait four hours with grandma at the hospital before grandma got checked out. And grandma, you know, elderly. And that still took four hours. But regardless, I tried to help my dad book a doctor's appointment. Nowhere had... Uh, had any time until at the earliest the following day, which at this point was yesterday from me playing this. So, my dad, uh, he, well, he also went to the hospital. He went to the emergency to get it checked out, what's wrong. Like I said, he said he had the feeling the night before, to the point he couldn't sleep, like, all night. Nice. Uh, nice as in the boo hitting my shell, not my dad's not feeling great. 
Well, it's funny enough is my dad went to the exact same hospital that my sister took grandma to. So, yeah, it seems like grandma's doing okay. Uh, it seems like my dad has like a urinary tract infection or whatever. He also had a fever yesterday, so like, um... Yeah, like, sadly enough, both of them weren't feeling great. Oh, come on! You took my item! No, slow down, slow down. Good, good, got both of their asses. Ah! Oh, of course. You tried, you, they keep on trying to steal my items! So yeah, that was... That was two days ago. Both of them had to be at the hospital. And then yesterday... Uh, yesterday started off kind of rough, but then it was okay. You know, yesterday I was supposed to get my day off again. Just because I low-key lost it the day before. And then my sister woke me up suddenly. It's like, guess who got her period? So you gotta go to work. So because my sister got her period, I had to fill in. Yeah, which, you know, like, isn't necessarily the biggest deal. Sure, I can't play this. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that forward. Come on, go, 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 go! Yes! Take that, hard comms! Okay, we're tied for first. Good, good. Place me on top, even though we're tied. So yeah, yesterday I went into work. It's not the biggest deal because it's um, it's back to school. School just started, so uh, it's not that busy at work. So I mostly just sit there and chill. Why are you taking the spotlight? Damn, Lakitu holding the camera must be like, Oh man, she got fucked up. Let's actually focus on camera on someone who's actually competent in the race. I like that, I like that. Oh, I just noticed too, like, I basically took the spotlight back from Bowser, in a way. Like, nah, I'm the main character this time. Oh, look at that! The blue shell was coming for me. But it doesn't matter, because I got first place. So, yeah, yesterday, I got called into work. Wasn't that busy. <clears throat> Until near the very end, where my day basically got ruined. So at first I got this customer who, uh, you know, was nice at first, was nice and polite. I mean, he did talk about the price, which, you know, is always a negative in my eyes. But, you know, at the very end he was still willing to pay for, the, you know, what he wanted. The thing is, though, like, you know, insurance coverage... See, normally what happens is when you buy something or you spend money on something, be it products like eyewear or a service like, say, dental, you would get some sort of paperwork back for you to submit towards insurance purposes for you to claim that money back, right? Sometimes, some places what they can do is they can do direct billing, so instead of doing all that, you, you know, as the customer, pay the place first, they give you paperwork for you to submit, instead of that, the place of business in question could just, like, you know, directly claim it from the insurance. So you could just skip the whole process of paying first and then claiming it back later. So the business can just, you know, get the money straight from the insurance, and you, as the customer, don't have to do shit. Unless, of course, you know, the insurance doesn't cover everything and you have to pay the remaining. Or, like in this case, out of my control, I don't know why it's set up like this sometimes, Sometimes, ooh, look, look, he's trying to, he's trying to hit me. Sometimes, like, depending on the, the person's plan, whatever they have set up. I don't know why I thought that bullet bill was like a blue shell, so I kind of slowed down, thinking it would hit Bowser. Where are you all coming from? Give me the coins, give me the coins, give me the coins. No, you don't! No, you don't! 
Get the hell out! Yes! Alright, so... What this guy wanted was like 460 bucks worth of goods. And he said that he only had $200 worth of insurance coverage. So what I tried to do was I tried to do the, do the insurance coverage directly. You know, that way the insurance would pay me $200 directly and he'd just have to pay like the $260 remaining out of his own pocket, right? So I tried to do the process for him. And in the process, like, in order to make myself some space to work, I moved my laptop out of the way, forgetting that my wired mouse was still connected so my mouse fell onto the floor and it broke not a, not everything's broken it's just the scroll wheel that broke but the sad thing is this mouse model is discontinued and I like this mouse so uh, now I need to get a new mouse you don't realize how often you scroll until you don't have the ability to So anyways, I tried to do the payment for this guy directly, and for some reason, it didn't pay towards me. In fact, it the money was going to go towards the customer. Sometimes it's set up like this, where I don't know why it's set up like this. And this guy, he just like wasn't understanding. He was first blaming me for it. Instead of the money coming to us, the business, it was going to him, you know, the plan member for the insurance. And he was like, bro, oh, you ruined it. I'm just like, no, I did not I did my job exactly how it should be. And sometimes it's set up like this. You need to call them and ask them why this is the case. Like, he just was not understanding, like, it's not in my control when it's sometimes set up this way. So then, you know, I told him I could void this as if nothing happened. So I tried voiding it, but then, here, this is a first for me, it said... Void, claim, denied. So, there was no way for me to cancel it. The money was going to go to the customer. And he didn't want to pay the remaining because he didn't have enough. He said he didn't have enough. He said, oh, I don't have the... Okay, I, I told him, like, the money's coming towards you, so you're going to have to pay the full amount. And, you know... If, if you... What the hell? If you want it today, you're going to have to pay the full amount because the insurance is already submitted on your behalf for you. So the money from the insurance is coming your way no matter what. And he's just like, I don't have enough. I, oh god. Oh, perfect timing. He was like, I don't have enough to cover it all today. I only have the remaining 260 bucks because I was expecting the insurance to pay, you know, however much. And I only pay the remaining, so I don't have the full amount. I told him, like, there's a bank just down there, you can go to the ATM, or you can leave the money, like, however much you have today, like, right now, as a deposit, and then when you come back, when, once the insurance thing is sorted out, you can come back, pay the rest, and pick it up. He's like, no, I don't want to come back, I want to pick it up now, blah, 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 I don't have enough money, that stuff. And then... You know, and this is the part that no customer likes to hear. I told him, like, unfortunately, you're still going to have to, you know, leave me 200 bucks today. Because, you know, I already claimed the insurance on your behalf. So $200 out of your insurance is already going to go your way. And he, understandably, got upset. He's like, no, I'm not leaving any money with you. I didn't buy anything today. I kept on telling him, call the damn insurance company and ask him about this. It, he, it, the message just didn't go through his thick skull. So, in a way, I basically just gave this guy free $200 off of his insurance without buying anything. But, uh, it, it's okay. Because earlier today, my sister, she went into work, and she called the insurance company and sorted it out. I tried to call them myself, but because I'm too stupid and incompetent, I couldn't figure out how to do it. So my sister went in and she got it done. So it, it's all resolved, but I'm still pissed that my mouse broke in the process and I didn't earn any money off of it. <sighs> well, 
Well, my dad's, uh, he's doing okay right now. He also has, um, he has, like, pain in that area. Discomfort, so it makes, it's hard for him to walk right now. I also, today, because of that, I had to drive him over to the doctor's clinic today to do, like, a, a pee test. But, yeah, that's, th th those are my past two days. Uh, why I, why this video got delayed a couple days. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.